CNN reporters are covering the crisis from Israel to Lebanon to Syria and Gaza. You're really worried about another strike here right now, of yes? Of course, of course. We are not allowed to tell you precisely where we are. You feel the compression in your body and you can taste the, uh, the dynamite, the TNT. Another Israeli soldier was killed there today. I think this was CNN at its best. Ola Newton joins us now live via broadband. He joins us now also live via broadband. We can still smell the burning rubble. We're down here in uh, a valley not too far from the border with uh, Lebanon. We can hear Israeli warplanes buzzing overhead right now. CNN was anchoring from both locations, uh, both Israel and Lebanon throughout the war. Welcome back to this special edition of Your World Today. It makes you such a better anchor. We're going to take you uh, back to southern Lebanon. You understand the story so much more. And that, I think, is what really set us apart in this coverage. It was seen of utter chaos. I was in Syria and then eventually went to Iran during the war. There's none yet, Anderson. The day just beginning here. And every live shot that we did from both of those places could not have been done without the DNG technology. Of Lebanese now abandoning caution. This is the kind of cutting edge technology that really is made for television and specifically breaking news. It's really a matter of minutes. We were able to break down our equipment very quickly and set it up very quickly to go live uh, quicker than all of our competition. You could be in the car, you could be in a hotel, you could be in the middle of this village, but you could immediately feed that story back or that B-roll back to Atlanta. It was faster than anything we've done before. We were doing live shows from uh, absolutely uh, positions you know, that I've never worked with before. We had a PD-150 camera, a G4 computer, and we had our BGAN, and that's about all we carried. It all fit into a backpack. All these three items are operated, can be operated on battery power. So you're not even dependent on any kind of uh, power source. One of the advantages of the BGAN is that it's the size of a laptop. We can move anywhere with it. The BGANs was still where we got a lot of our breaking news out. We've been honing this technology for years now in conflicts all over the globe. And in this Israeli Hezbollah conflict, we were really at the pinnacle of our skills when it came to uh, digital news gathering. <laughs> 